Hi guys, it's Brad from Pogo Physio, and I just want to share with you today a terrific exercise for uh, lower limb conditions and more specifically for runners. There's very seldom a runner that I treat inside the consultation rooms here at Pogo that doesn't need to include this exercise I'm about to demonstrate as part of their rehabilitation program. So the exercise is going to target muscles that, that control the hip. They're called the external rotators of the hip joint and they run deep in the buttock, hooking over here on the greater trochanter. So their line of force is backwards like so, which if you picture that as the runner, if you land on a single leg, which we do, if those muscles aren't pulling the hip back, then it's gonna collapse and drop. And it's that collapsing and dropping that puts a lot more stress and load through the lower limb, be it the knee, the ankle, the Achilles tendon, or the hip itself, or even the lower back the ITB as well. So let's have a look at how to do this great exercise. You need a table, or uh, which I've got here at home, you may not have a treatment table, do it off the edge of your bed. Soft couches are best to be avoided because you just tend to collapse. Now the exercise looks like this. You lay on your side, your bottom leg must be at 90 degrees, rest your head on a pillow, the top leg's on a holiday, so it's out of the picture, not doing anything. And then we go, from the bottom to the top, up and down. And you try to make the movement smooth and not jerky, but you're aiming for as many reps as you can to get up to 100 continuously. So from the bottom to the top, keeping the leg at 90 degrees and you're just off the edge of the table. <clears throat> now what you're gonna feel is fatigue deep and underneath the buttock with that one. The aim is to get to the 100 repetitions. I doubt whether you'll be able to do it initially 100 times continuously, but you will be able to get there with a little bit of practice. The reason that I'm asking patients to do 100 is because when we run, we're running generally the cadence for around 90 steps a minute. So if you put it into context, if you're asking these muscles to work 100 times continuously with this exercise, yet when you run for an hour, you'll take 90 steps a minute over an hour. That's 5,400 steps. So 100 by comparison seems like a lot for an exercise, but it's not if you put it into context of an hour's run. So that's called the hip external rotations. There is a progression for that one, and I'll come back with that on a separate video to show you how to progress it. Enjoy these in the meantime.